Hi. In this tutorial, we'll be talking about how we can uh, deserialize complex JSON, right? So in the previous tutorial, we we saw how we can send a get request, get the response, uh, or get a JSON response, and then print it, right? So in this uh, video, we will we'll see how we can uh, parse, or you know, you can deserialize actually the the JSON uh, rec uh, response, right? So if if you see the sample uh, uh, get request that I have over here of list users. It 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 is uh, it it composes of certain root elements, right? That you have certain root elements, and uh, you have certain uh, key value pairs, key, uh, which has like a JSON, which which is like an array, and within that array you have uh, you have like a nested JSON, right? So uh, let's look at how we can uh, deserialize this. So basically, to to do this um, uh, process, we we will be using a NuGet package uh, called uh, Newtonsoft JSON library, okay? So let's let's add that uh, as the first step. Uh, so yeah, uh, if you if you search in for the uh, Newton Soft JSON library, right? Uh, so here. Uh, since I've already installed it, you can see a green tick mark here, right? And in case if you haven't, uh, please do it. So you can just select this and, you know, click the install icon here and it'll, it'll install the uh, the NuGet package, right? So once we are done uh, installing the NuGet package, we'll, we'll see how we can uh, deserialize this, okay? Now, uh, so before we do, uh, so this is basically in, in the previous uh, video we have already seen how we have done this right so basically this is a http client uh, class we, we are just uh, sending a get request with a specific uri and uh, we are get we are just getting this in the response body and we're just printing the response body so our purpose is now to uh, to deserialize and, and understand how we can how we can get for example uh, uh, if you want to get the page right if you want to get the ids ids of each with, within this data key you want to get each ids right so id 7 id 8 id 9 you want to get certain email so let's see how we can uh, do that so so basically uh, if you uh, let's just uh, get the uri of this okay and uh, since we have to pass this in the string uh we have our uh, get request feature file okay we'll just pass this string oh okay, it's already pasted here let me just recheck this if it's uh, okay so it's already pasted okay and uh, so now we can use the json uh, uh json converter okay if you see there is something called json convert json convert and uh, if you see the package where it's coming from uh class newtonsoft.json dot json convert right so we'll use this uh, to deserialize our a json okay and over here uh, if you have to pass you have to pass what is the data model here i'll just come back to that and uh, the and what are you actually trying to pass uh, you, what are you trying to deserialize okay uh, so we'll just give the response body here for now So now it might it might say that uh, use a generic method uh, requires one type argument. Okay, what is that one type argument? So basically, when you are trying to deserialize your your JSON, right? It expects that it needs certain model, okay, a certain class model to uh, to map each JSON key or value with with certain properties or with certain variables in the class. Okay, so let's see how we, how we can do that. So uh, so basically, let's copy the copy this JSON. Okay. Let's copy this JSON again. Oops. Okay. Now we have a very cool feature of the Visual Studio, which is called paste uh, uh, a special paste. So if you go to edit, uh, so let's let's basically create a f let's create a class for this specific model. Okay. Class, um, you can write it as like you know, you can rename this class as data model, okay. Dot CS, so let's just make this as public for now. So, 
uh, so one cool feature that I was talking about uh, within the Visual Studio is a special paste. Okay, so if you see the space special paste JSON as classes. Okay, so how cool is this, right? So we get all the um, all the key value pairs, everything which is defined in your JSON response, right? It it actually uh, puts that as part of the properties. It 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 wraps it as a properties, right? So if you if you see the if you see our uh, JSON res request again, right? Uh, you can see that. Uh, you have page per page total total pages data th it's like an uh, this is an array within that you have uh, again uh, individual uh, uh, jasons right you have your uh, id id email first name last name I thought this is your like uh, index of zero within this data right and then again uh, the next you have is id 87 right so this is the second index right so so and similarly it maps the so special data uh, json it maps into individual properties right so if you see this all the so and it also understands that since this data is an array it 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 uh, the the data type is set to as data um array and uh, it it creates a special uh, class for it okay so we'll be using this data model to uh, you know to deserialize this just one um, change is that we will we'll be removing this class the called the root object class okay because uh, at the root level whatever pages are there if you see the at the root level you have page per page total total pages and then you just have another one which is called data and support at the end right so you just we just need these at the root level okay so these are all the things that you have at the root level and then you'll have we'll be having two classes like one is for the data which is the array uh, and then you have the support over here so if you see the support over here at the end you'll be able to see the support here right see this is another like you know within the support you have like a url as a key and then the, there's a url your text and then the uh, key value pair text and to keep request free right so uh, let's uh, model this up in the in the json convert uh, class okay so now we will give this data model okay see the error the error is vanished now so uh, let's uh, so now let's print the response that that you want right you want maybe uh, in this case uh, you want to print the what is the value of the page okay so let's let's assign this something to say var uh, uh, the des data for example deserialized data right okay now uh, you want to print this data dot say you want uh, you want to you want to see what the page is okay so for example in this case uh, if you see what is the value of the page here so the key is page the value is 2 so since you want to print 2 it says argument cannot convert from in to string okay so for now let me just uh, convert this to to string okay and let's see how this works okay okay here you go so if you see this it has printed two over here okay so i mean uh, just for better understanding Let me just run this again so that you know it gives more clarity as to what the output is. Yeah, there you go. It's two, right? So, uh, see, in this way we can actually decelerize our, uh, you know, the the response, the 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 JSON, uh, whatever complex JSON you have, you can actually get the value. So now uh, let's try another one. Uh, for example, we have this data here. So in uh, this this data for example you want to find the IDs of all the you want to find IDs all the IDs available right so let's try to uh, 
uh, let's try to get that value now okay we'll be writing a for each because it, it, it's an array right so and uh, we would ideally want to uh, so if you see this here where item in this data dot data okay so now if, if I show you my data model class over here okay uh, it clearly sees that this data over here okay yeah this data is clearly an array right so that's the reason we are putting this in the for each right it'll be easier to you know uh, just print it if you want to get each IDs or whatever right so now uh, in this case let's just uh, write a print line here okay and uh, say you want to get item item dot id okay item dot id dot uh, to string yeah okay so let's just run this Right, right. So if you see this, you can see the IDs here: seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So in in this manner, any complex JSON you have, you can actually decelerize it, and uh, you can you can you can uh, use it for your purpose, right? And uh, if you want to if you want to play around with it, like for example, in this for each loop, you can write like you know, if the ID is uh, say eight, uh, print the like print if the ID is eight, print the first name, print the last name, concatenate it, do whatever you want, right? So you can play around with whatever um, things you want. You can, you can sum it. You can do whatever you want, right? So I think uh, the, that's that's the um, that's the whole crux of it. So hope you like the video. So if you if you do like the video, please uh, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And please let me know in the comments what else do you want me to cover as part of the series of this uh, API uh, automation.